Flying aircraft like this P-40 and later the P-51 Mustang, the Tuskegee Airmen, also known as the Red Tails, protected our fighter bombers on runs over Italy and Germany. This week, 1,400 kids will learn the story of the Tuskegee Airmen, our nation's first African-American fighter pilots. The Red Tails were a very important part of our country's history. The planes are on display at the Chanute Air Museum. We were losing 80 percent of our bombers. The fighters flown to protect those bombers made a huge difference in winning the war. They may have lost the ground fire, they couldn't control that, but they didn't lose none to an enemy fighter. Now while many of the Tuskegee Airmen flew an aircraft just like this one, many of the original Tuskegee ground crew trained right here in Rantoul. The 99th Pursuit Squadron, the first black squadron, started here in March 1941. Chanute Field is where they started before being sent to their base in Alabama. When they trained the mechanics and the radio men and all the technical people, then they sent them to Tuskegee and then they started the pilot training. Today, only a handful of the airmen are still alive. There are a couple of hundred. They're scattered throughout the United States. There's a couple of hundred still alive. The Tuskegee Airmen, and an important link to central Illinois. Doug Wolf reporting WAND News.